What's up y'all, I'm Sarah, and um, today I'm gonna be doing something from a different location. Let me know if you like it. Um, today I'm gonna be talking about Beauty and Beast, the new movie that's out. I saw it over the weekend, and um, it was pretty good. So let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so going into the movie, there was a lot of buzz. People were like, oh, you know, all getting excited about it. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to see it the weekend that it opened. That, and I got a gift card from my brother. Shout out, Joey. <laughs> so I was able to see it. My friends even got a babysitter to watch their kids so they could see it together. So that's pretty cool. Um, so also uh, something that, since it was a Sunday afternoon, I didn't know if the theater was gonna be full or not. And um, while it wasn't totally sold out, uh, it was very, very full. And um, the, the movie actually made over $170 million in the opening weekend, which is the most a movie has ever made for the month of March. So that's pretty impressive. Um, I wish I, I could have filmed it, but there was these cute girls. There was like four or five girls. They're like between the ages of five and eight, I think. And they all had their, they all had like a stuffed animal and they were in their, you know, in their pajamas. And it was so cute. I, I just, I, I, I couldn't take it. It was adorable. <laughs> so how was the movie? It was good. I'll get into what I think about the actual writing of the movie later on. But I can say that I really enjoyed it. So first of all, how were the songs? The songs were great. I really liked uh, the beginning song, Bonjour, or that was really good. And even though I got to see most of it in the preview, there was a uh, first look available that they had it. Um, it was still really good. And in, in addition, I liked the, the song, There's Something There. And um, if you've seen my childhood movies, you know, video, you know that I love that song. <laughs> um, also, there was a couple new songs in there. And um, my favorite new song, without getting too much into it, was a song sang by the um, people of, of the castle. So like Clocksworth and Lemire and Mrs. Potts and all of them. So that it was a really good song. So I think in all that they did pretty good on the songs. Um, in addition, the end where there was like the climax and the Kill the Beast song, that was really good as well. Okay, so besides the songs, how was the look of the movie? I thought it was really good. And most people got a, t a taste of it in like the, the trailers and everything, but um, just the look of the castle was amazing. Of course, they um, didn't stray too far from the original, but I just loved it. And uh, the costume design was really good. I definitely think it was more French. And um, I love the set design. It was really detailed and rich and beautiful. Um, in addition to, the, to that, uh, the cinematography was great. I liked the way the camera moved. It was very musical and epic and everything. And um, that definitely added to the enjoyment of the film for sure. So how were the characters? Well, Emma Watson did a great job being Belle. And I think people were initially worried because she's not known as a singer, you know. But she pulled it off really, really well. And uh, she had some songs to sing. And she did, a, she did a really good job. Um, I really liked what she brought to the character and some changes that she made. Of course, she didn't stray too far. Don't, don't, you know, don't get too worried. But um, it definitely added some depth, depth to the character. And uh, you can definitely see Emma Watson's influence there. So I, I think she did a really good job. Okay, so what about her father? I thought the character of her father was better in this version, of course, because in the animation he um, is goofy and, you know, uh, it, it, like a source of laughs or whatever. Um, in this version, um, he's a lot more serious and, of course, in the, in the other version he was, he was kind and caring as well. But he's really kind and caring in, you know, this one. I, I like um, the way he loves Belle and the way he wants to protect her and everything. And um, they get into some of, the, some of the background about his character that um, I'll talk about later in the spoiler section of this video. 
Okay, so how were the characters in the castle? So, Mrs. Potts was played by Emma Thompson, and um, I did not know, have any idea until the end of the movie. I knew I recognized her voice, but I couldn't figure it out. And um, she, did, she, did, she did a really good job. Um, in addition, the boy who played Chip did a really good job, too. So, um, also there's Clocksworth that was played by Ian, Ian McKellen, which I had no idea about him. Although I had seen advertisements with him in it, I just, I guess I forgot. Um, but he did a really good job and he definitely was true to the character and he, he played his, you know, conservative, worrisome character really well. Um, then there was Lumiere. And whenever I found out it was going to be Ewan McGregor playing it, um, I was, I was not sure how good he was going to do. So, he's not French, obviously, and this character is known for his French accent. So, I heard in an interview that he, whenever he originally recorded his lines, he had to go over them because his French accent wasn't that good. But, he says that he has a, his, his wife has been helping him, and uh, whenever he redubbed his lines, you, could, you couldn't even tell. It was excellent. So, there's that. Um, he was probably my favorite character. Just like in the original, I, I loved his character there too. And um, I think he really brought a unique element to it, so that was good. Gaston was played by Luke Evans, and um, he did a pretty good job. Uh, nothing really extraordinary, nothing really stood out to me. I thought he was kind of, he was kind of bland and kind of just what, what the character needed, but didn't really add much to it, I don't think. Um, of course, he was a good villain, and he did a good job there, but I don't know. I just didn't really feel him. I just didn't like him that much for some reason. My least favorite character was the Beast, and although I think he he isn't that bad, he has some, some things that are a little bit better than the original. I just don't like Dan Stevens that much, and I don't think he... Um, brought enough to the character to really make me fall in love with him so or not fall in love with him but like you know as a character so I don't know something else I wanted to discuss is that the design of the castle characters uh, Mrs. Potts, Lemire, Clocksworth, Chip they really designed them really well and I think that they look like the objects are supposed to be more you know they don't have that cartoony feel they look like if you just stood them still they could be those those you know objects for sure and I think that was a really good a really good choice so the character that caused the most controversy was LeFou and in the original he's just a goofy sidekick you know just a a laughable character but um in this version since his character was kind of blank in a way they, they wanted to give him more of a character and of course they end up having him be a, a gay character. Now the uh, director for the film is an openly gay man and um, he worked with the actor who plays him which I, I can't remember his name but he played Olaf in you know the Frozen movies um, to you know make his character gay or whatever and people were freaking out. People were like oh you know there was a, that theater in Alabama that banned the movie. Um, Russia gave the movie a 16 plus rating. And um, in Malaysia, they're currently fighting with Disney to get six minutes of the film taken out or they're not gonna show it. And Disney is standing their ground so far. So um, that's pretty interesting. Uh, but here's the thing. After seeing the movie, going into it, I knew he was gay. So of course I was looking for it. Um, after seeing the movie, I can tell you that it's going to go over all the kids' heads, pretty much. Um, there's really nothing that is overt. There's no, like, kiss or nothing like that. Um, I think that um, there's nothing to be worried about here. So, I mean, of course, there is some things that he does that, you know, once you know, it's like, oh, okay, you know, but it's not really a big deal. But in, in general, I thought his character was, you know, pretty good. And um, it's good to see the representation on the screen, even if it's very slight and very, you know, not a really big deal as far as in, in the, the plot of the actual film. So there's that. What about the story? So, of course, people know the story from the original, and they don't really stray too far from it. They really stick to it. 
but of course they add some scenes, they add some songs, they give back more backstory to certain characters, etc. Um, so what are what's different? Okay, now this is the portion of the um, of the video that if you don't want to have any spoilers at all, you could mute this for a couple minutes while I you know talk about this. And whenever I'm done talking about the spoilers, I'll give you a thumbs up, okay? So you can turn it back on. Okay, so my favorite thing that they added to the film was, or, you know, one of them, was the fact that Belle has a mechanical mind. The interesting that she does is that she invents a washing machine with a barrel and using her donkey. And um, I thought it was a really important thing because, not because it's cool, but because during her first song, you see a, a glimpse of the town and the boys are all going to school and the girls are not going to school the girls are doing the doing the laundry with you know their moms and they're all you know not educated and um not able to go to school because they have all these chores or whatever so it really was a really big statement as well as Belle teaching a girl to read that was a big deal too so um you know that was really cool it was really a good addition to the, to the character and um i don't think it really um like changes the character i think she would have done it anyway um it, it just made her more mechanically minded okay so there's that um second of all they show the background of her father and how her mother died so basically in this version of the story her father is an artist and he makes toys and um, little clocks that like pop out people and stuff like that and um, he uh, they used to live in a, in a windmill and her mother got sick with the plague and they had to leave immediately and um, that's why her mom I mean her mom is not in the story because she died and she wanted to make sure that her daughter did not get the plague because it was really starting to become rampant in, in, in the, the town because it was really starting to spread in the town and um, I think that that story not only adds depth to the father's character and shows the love for the love that he has for his daughter more and his his like his conflict there um, it also helps Abel bond with the beast and because they show the beasts um, his mom also dies from being from an illness that we don't really know what it is but um, he is of course older when she dies but uh, it says that his father raises him and he makes him a bitter man and a, not like a, a man that is not good so it kind of shows why the beast is or why he was the way he was when he mistreated the woman with the rose and um, I've seen jokes online that uh, why did the why did he answer why did the prince answer his own door when she came to the door and of course they answer that question um, because she interrupts a, uh, a ball that's going on right where he is so uh, so that that was a good um, change and I did like how they gave the witch in the story um, a chance to come back at the end and change him personally back. So that was cool. Okay, so what else? I think that's pretty much all of the spoilers I, I want to give away. So if you're coming back, this is the time to come back. Okay, so spoilers aside, is this movie worth seeing? Yes, definitely. Um, if you were a fan of the original, or just kind of liked it. I think you're going to like this one. Also, if you're a fan of the other Disney live-action fairy tales like Cinderella or uh, Maleficent and stuff like that, you're going to love it. So, you should definitely go see it. And it's a great movie. It's good for kids. Um, there's nothing objectionable in it. It's rated PG, you know. Uh, the only people I think that wouldn't like this movie would be people who didn't like the original and just don't like the story. So, I don't know how many people that would be. <laughs> so, I want to give this movie a B plus. 
Now, it's mostly because I, um, I kind of want to save my A's for movies I really, really, really love. And I really, really I, I love this movie, but I didn't love it enough to quite give it an A. So, all right. So let me know if you enjoyed, enjoyed this video. Did you enjoy me being outside? Um, is this a good location? I might, you know, sit here more often. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you like what you saw, let me know down in the comments below. Alright, bye-bye for now.